I was young, a counselor asked me, Chris, what does molestation remind you of? And I said, nothing. Mouth glued together like the juvenile hands of a first grader, which I was, I remember. The day my friend's statue chiseled into the statue of my manhood, carefully striking that mile and forged by lust and shame into my pure brown marble skin. When in college and sculpting a small statue of myself, my art teacher asked me, why is your statue naked? Because I feel. Because I feel as naked as winter trees. God forgive me, my cousin tricked me into thinking his hand was a fig leaf needed to cover my genitals. Like Adam after discovering he was naked, I felt exposed like the core of an apple awakened. What are you saying? Every time the station takes shape with every stripe, every time he touched me, his irritating hands became poison ivy, slowly wrapping up around my thigh, grabbing and tattooing his identity into my arm like a barco. I was his property, tripping away pieces of my innocence, tripping away pieces of my happiness, falling pieces of stone morphed into table scraps before they hit the floor, as if to feed the devil's appetite for sin. My friend, there's no angel. But every time I look over my shoulder, I see him, sanding my juvenile conscience with diamond-covered sandpaper to cover his sick mistakes as a human being. Gentle, but not too gentle. Paths where tears just carelessly I skate down my cheek, permanently cracked like underfunded city blocks. I guess my friend didn't know that. Statues have hearts under all that stone that crack as easily as light. But what are you sculpting? I remember when I started to sculpt poetry into my newfound marble slab of carriage. Wow. Every strike forms small stanzas. The phantom feeling of pain for our friend lying upon my back gradually was no longer felt. You could say this, the, the debris created from the carefully chiseled stone turned into gas like anesthesia vapors to block the pain I felt while going under emotional plastic surgery to fix my self-image. Chest firmly written into existence like bold letters. Fist raised to the sky underlining my metamorphosis. If you were to have awakened like a child on December 25th, you would have thought I'd just finished holding the sun in my hand and placed him in the sky as if you were the final ornament on a Christmas tree. Frozen in a clenched position because you had to fight the devil's fire with liquid nitrogen. Eyes sculpted so elegantly, you can see galaxies of life in one, in the kingdom of heaven, in the other. Blowing breasts full of inspiration, it's like the minds of the laws expand like newly shaped glass. You cannot reshape your past. We are all different types and differently shaped stones, waiting to be sanded and polished so that your life can shine. So begin that change in your life by forgiving, to gentle away the pain, 